Hey guys, this is Oli from Project Neutrino, and today I'm bringing you part 4 of my UDK tutorial. If you haven't checked out the other videos, then I'd recommend checking them out, otherwise you might be a bit lost. So in this video we're going to cover usable objects, that includes vehicles, guns and health mainly, in the form of pickups of the guns and health. So, let's get started. So first of all, I'm not going to waste time explaining how to create a new world and everything, because you've already done that. So we're going to use a default world, so go to, if you don't know how to do that, go up to File, New Level, and then let's, any, you can pick any of these, but let's go for mid, Midday Lighting. Double click on that, it will load up. Okay, now the first thing we want to do is to change our game type. So we're going to go up to View, World Properties, and then Game Type over here. You should expand that if it's not already expanded. Now go to Default Game Type. There are lots of options up here, but we're going to go for the UT Deathmatch, which is the most popular. Uh, now, game, game type for Pi. Pi just stands for Play and Editor. So this means when you play it in the editor, which game type do you want to use? And here we're going to go for UT Deathmatch as well. So we've got that set up now. The next thing we do is we need a player start where you're going to spawn. Uh, this is already created in the this default game uh, map, so we're not going to have to worry about that. If you don't know how to make one, just check out my previous tutorials when I explained how to. So now let's get on to the fun stuff. Let's add some vehicles. So go up to Content Browser up here, click on that, and then at the top we're going to go onto the Actor Classes tab up here. Now as you can see we've got loads of tabs here, and we're going to of course go down to the Vehicles tab, open that, and under here we're going to click on, you can choose any of these vehicles, I'm going to go for the Scorpion. So click, highlight the Scorpion by clicking on it, and then minimise this window. Now in the game world, right click where you want to spawn the Scorpion, and then click on Add UT Vehicle Factory Scorpion here. And there we go, it's really that simple. We now have a vehicle in our world which is playable. We don't have to do any scripting or programming. You can just jump straight in there. But before we do, let's add our health pickups. So let's go back, same process. Go up to the, sorry, I've already got that open. You need to maximize it. Go up into Act Classes again. And then this time we're going to go up to, into Pickups over here. And this Pickups just includes anything which you can run over and pick up, basically. I'll, I'll show you later. So click on health, and then we're going to click on health pack, which is just the normal health pack. You can also have super health, which obviously gives you a much lot more health. So let's same process again. Let's go into game world, right click where we want it, and click and click add here. And there we go. Again, it's that simple. No coding required. And whenever you run over this in the game world, you'll add some extra health to your character. So finally, let's add some weapons pickable, um, usable weapons. Let's go back into the content browser, maximize it, go to add to classes again, go to pickups, and then go to weapon. And here, there are two options here. You can either have the pickup factory, this is just a single weapon you can pick up, or you can have the locker. This is a selection of weapons you can pick up. So first of all, let's just do the pickup and again, exactly the same, right click, add here. Now, to change the weapon which you can pick up, double click on it, go to UT Weapon Pickup Factory, and then just select your weapon over here. Let's go for a rocket launcher. Now, let's get out of there. And now, let's just do the same process, but this time let's do the locker. So, highlight the locker, close this down, right click where you want it, and click add here. Now again, same process for selecting the weapons, double click, and this time, because there are multiple weapons, we're going to need to add multiple options. So under weapons, click add new option, add new item, sorry. Open this, and select your weapon, let's go for a link gun. And then if you want to add another weapon to the locker, click again, click on here again, and select the weapon. Now let's just add the final weapon as well and shop rifle. There we go, and we've got that all set up. So, believe it or not, that's actually it. We can now jump into this world, pick up the health pickup, choose a gun, and roll around in our vehicle. So, let's do just that. 
right click and uh, click play from here. Here we go. As you can see, uh, at the moment I've got this classic rifle shot rifle thing. If I walk into here, I pick up the rocket launcher. If I walk through here, I pick up four or three weapons. And so finally, let's just check out our vehicle. So we can drive around a bit. Um, well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed our, my video. Uh, join me next time when I'll be talking about enemies so we can kill some people and spawn points in a bit more depth for the enemies. So I look forward to seeing you next time. Goodbye from me.